Hey guys, I'm Alex from Sanzu Fabrications, and in this video I'm going to show you how I did the strapping for my Marth cosplay armor, and I'll give you a few tips on how you can do yours even better. All the straps are glued directly to the back of the armor with barge contact cement. The breastplate armor is backed with a large piece of craft foam, but you don't need to do this. I found it doesn't hold any better and uses up a lot of extra material. Before you glue, make sure to lightly sand the area on the inside of the armor so you're able to get a stronger bond. For my armor, I glued black strips of polypropylene and then hand stitch them to brown polypropylene. You can save yourself a lot of time and extra work by gluing the brown straps directly onto the armor. There's no need to do it the way I did. It's always good to make your straps too long. Wait until you finish everything else and then cut off the excess. That way you'll know the straps are the right length. Don't forget to fold over and hem the ends of your straps, otherwise they'll unravel. Next, loop the straps onto the rings. The rings should lie just above the tops of your shoulders. I continued to roll the straps until they were the right length. Don't worry about how this looks, it'll be covered by the cape anyway. By the way, all the dirt and wear you're seeing in these pictures is just watered down acrylic paint. It's very basic aging and it helps the overall look, in my opinion. The ring will hold the breastplate in front of you, the pauldrons on your shoulders, but you'll need two long straps to cross between your shoulder blades. To keep these crossed in the right place, I stitch them together. Again, pretty doesn't matter here. It'll all be covered up by the cape. The easiest method to connect the back straps to the lower breastplate ones is simple velcro. I use some industrial strength velcro that didn't require sewing. Sewing will be stronger, but if you do choose to sew, make sure your velcro doesn't have any adhesive on the back. As you can see here, my velcro lines up against my back. This was by far my biggest regret. I pretty much have to dislocate both shoulders to get this on. Do yourself a favor and make the straps overlap underneath your arms, as close to the bottom of the breastplate as possible. It may still be a bit awkward to attach, but awkward is better than painful. Follow these suggestions and your strapping will look way nicer than mine, and be much easier to put on. Remember, patterns for this armor are available in the description of the video. And, like always, thank you for liking and subscribing.